Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. It is the end of two days. And many in this room have gathered for both of those. In the process, there has been a, a continuity of consciousness. There has been a lot here today to feel and yesterday to feel, if you allowed it. There are still those who are frustrated that they're not feeling at all. That we can talk about certain things, channel about certain things, but the reality is that you're not getting it all. Almost everyone here is here with a purpose of learning how they can help themselves into this shift. Dear ones, if there is no acknowledgement of the shift, things can get worse. For you cannot stick an old energy paradigm into new energy. You cannot keep doing what you've been doing in a new energy. It doesn't work. And sooner or later, you will see the dysfunction of yourself. If you could not move into this, this new way of thinking, this energy that is willing to support you. We've said it over and over, the wind is at your back, but it won't matter if you don't raise your sail. And that goes for all of you. There are things here that you have not expected in an energy that really lays there for you. Or you don't believe it. Or you've always worked so hard for yourself, by yourself, doing what you need to do. That suddenly, the idea of dropping some of that just doesn't make sense. Or you're afraid. I want to walk you through something. I'm going to call this channel Enhanced Innate. It's similar to other subjects we've given before, but this is for this group. Many of you have felt in these two days something special. Don't assign it to the presenters, but that's not where it's come from. This is an energy of benevolence and love and compassion that comes from inside of each of you bathing you with the beauty that you deserve it is not external that is one of the big paradigm shifts of this age that the beauty comes from inside how many of you have spent your life with your hands outstretched, thanking God, asking God, wanting God? Only now to realize that every single thing has come from the God within. Oh, that's not all that's in. Your biology is designed to listen to what you're saying. I bring you something to think about and then I'm going to enhance it here is a subject that is common to those who think in alternative ways of health and it's called homeopathy and I want to study that for just a moment in a very 3D factual way and I want you to listen carefully because this is the premise for what's coming. Homeopathy has been with you, humans, for a very long time. The premise is not scientific. And in some cultures, the very name of it is not even accepted. In fact, there is science who will make fun of it. And 
here's how it works a tincture a remedy so small in its chemistry that it's hard to measure at all parts per million that are just just so tiny are then put under the tongue and the remedy is designed for you for what ails you you put it under the tongue and the body sees the intent of those who built the remedy and took it inside and the body then sees it follows the instructions and heals itself cures itself rids itself of the problems that is the basis of homeopathy you are taught if you are taking it to give intent as well for it then enhances the cures that are there to be enhanced and when science looks at this they say there is no way this will work it has to be in the mind only for there is no chemistry that could possibly have a reaction in the body it's way too small it's just too small dear ones this is the method that was used for hundreds of years long before drugs long before you even had aspirin this is how humans looked at things for cures it's not new and it works and there are millions who use it to this day in other continents far more than you do and hold on to the truth and the reality and the 3D-ness of this this is something that works so you have a system that is known to work that is not scientific where your innate of your body sees something that you're doing through the remedy the tincture and your intent and cures what do you call this besides homeopathy it would be innate awareness innate is ready to act on what you give it and for years and years you've seen it and you've worked with it you believe it you know what's funny is that there are surgeons in your country that will hand out the prescription or the over-the-counter advice to get certain homeopathy so that there will be no scars and when you say well how can one homeopathy work and another one won't and they'll say just get it there is no acknowledgement one way or the other they just know it works it does so let's expand on this just a moment this awareness of innate is more enhanced than ever before it is part of the new human and it's ready for more things and I want to talk to this group right now what if I told you that in every single human being there is an innate awareness right now you might even say with its eyes wide open and its hands out saying what else is there I can do for you your own body is standing by to help you this is chemistry at its best it is in the DNA it's innate it is tied in with your Akash and your higher self innate is a beautiful system of awareness it doesn't just have chemical reactions to non-chemistry it doesn't just do things in homeopathy it does everything have you ever wondered what spontaneous remission really is it's innate at its best that's you with you perfect are you interested 
What can you do right now? Oh, you should be getting chills. What could you do right now that's a little different than you think? Oh, there's so many subjects. Innate is ready to help your consciousness drop things that you don't need anymore, that will not work anymore. If you have a defensive attitude, it's not going to work in this new, this new energy. Have you got buttons that get pressed that make you angry? Do you have buttons that, pr that, that, that make you anxious even when you hear a word or you see a situation and you can literally feel your stomach putting in the acid? How would you like to instruct your body to release that? What if you instructed your body to release anything inappropriate for the beauty of who you are. Would it work? Now there are those listening to this right now that says those are just words. It probably won't work. And for those who said that it won't work. Because the very attitude creates a barrier that creates also a dysfunction on this whole process. I want you to remember the tincture. It's pure, without bias, under the tongue. The body sees it and obeys. Innate wants what's good for you. This innate is the same thing that you muscle test. This is part of you that is designed to make you live longer. It's designed to make you comfortable, to help you and give you information. And dear ones, this is enhanced and is going to be even more enhanced. And it's a shame if you don't use it. Why don't we all use it? The man who sits in the chair needs to use it. Let's release some things. What is it? Dear innate, you might say, with, with the man in the chair. Dear innate, today I release all inappropriate things that would keep me anxious. Today I release all inappropriate things that would make me less healthy. This is a major time to release things that don't work. And especially the ones that you don't think you have control of. Because you do. There is experiments in science that actually show that cells listen to consciousness. That chemistry is created from consciousness that the body has been shown to be listening literally to the human being far more than you ever thought. Innate is even greater than that. Dear Innate, I release the frustration that keeps me from moving forward. Dear Innate, I release all the verbiage that keeps me from moving forward. This is a command. It's not a wish. Just like the tincture is a command. And it says to the body, here is the order I'm placing. Here is what is going to happen. Because my consciousness is allied to my spiritual self and my innate. It is a system of benevolence. You don't wish it to happen with the innate. You cooperate and tell it. There's been many questions about this. And one of them is this. 
if innate is so grand, why doesn't it just do it? And I'll tell you why. Dear ones, the premise of life itself, the whole setup with your higher self, with spirituality, says that you have free choice. You have free choice to kill yourself. You can do it slowly if you want to, with bad habits, with bad verbiage, or you can do it all at once. That is your free choice. And innate sits there, ready for instructions. If you spend your life and never understand that you can talk to your cellular structure, your body will simply do whatever it wants to in full dysfunction and imbalance. That's where the diseases come from. Did you know that science has shown that those who are joyful and laugh a lot live longer? Because the cellular structure is balanced. There's a consistency and a coherence that works together to keep you alive. That's just laughter and joy. I'm talking about instructions for life. What are your instructions today to your body? I'll tell you, all of you have got to release things. What about the self-worth issue? Here we go again. It stands in the way of so much. Dear ones, let's release everything you were ever told about who you are from anybody. I release anything that defines who I am. Dear innate, those who have talked to me, systems who have talked to me, even instructors and the ones I've loved who have talked to me, I release information that is not majestic to my body. What about that one? Can you do it? Let's do it together. Man in the chair, listen. This is for you too. Releasing the things that are inappropriate. Your innate knows what they are. You've just given permission to move into a place where you will feel the wind at your back. And you will leave this place feeling different. And slowly over time, you'll start seeing the shift. There are some humans that feel that exercise is tough. And they don't want to do it. And there will be those who say, you know you should. And they say, I know I should. And then finally, when they get a friend or something else that says, I'll go with you. And you will get there to that place where you'll exercise or the place where you'll walk or run or whatever and you'll do a little. And you'll come back and say, that was awful. <laughs> and they'll say, let's do it again. And so you do it again. Three, four, five times and just about when you're ready to say this is nonsense, you start to see the results. Only a little bit. And then suddenly, you're a fan. And you're out there before the sun comes up, running around the block. <laughs> and the difference? You got to see results. Dear ones, it's exactly that way. What you do today, right now, starting slowly with me, your innate will hear. If there is pure intent, if you're just doing it because you're in a group, it won't work. But if you mean it, it's going to start a process. And when you start to see the results, it'll be you being more comfortable with you, sleeping better at night, not worrying about the things you worry about. Having a joy factor start to come back so you awaken joyful and not with, not with pain, anxiety, suffering, worry, none of those things. That's all old stuff. It's not for you. And you're going to start feeling it, and you're going to know this works. And then you're going to start looking at specifics to drop and release that are you, just for you. A lot of them are in your Akash. You know that, don't you? 
you carry them in and they keep pushing and they keep going. Dear Innate, you might say, I release any and all things in my Akashic record that will keep me from seeing my magnificence today. See it as done. That's why you came. This is why you came. Let this be the beginning of many sessions of release for you. And let it be that you will see results. And run around the block before the sun comes up. <laughs> and so it is.